Hi, I'm Tanya from the Aquaponics Source, and today we're going to install a fish tank window into this poly tank. The tools and supplies you will need to efficiently install your fish tank window are a Sharpie marker and level, ratchet with 7 16 socket, Phillips screwdriver, file and sandpaper, a drill with 1 quarter inch drill bit, hole saw or spade bit, jigsaw, denatured alcohol and paper towels, and of course the window, neoprene gasket material, and bag of bolts, nuts, and washers received from the aquaponic source. It's always a good idea to have eye protection and earplugs when using power tools. Step 1. Determine where you want your window installed in the tank. This is relative to the tank's location in your growing space and your plumbing configuration. Once you know the window placement, make a top and bottom mark with your Sharpie just to help line things up. Step 2. Hold up your window and drill a hole through one of the top holes. They're an even number, so there's no exact center. Just pick one. Step 3. Temporarily secure the window with one of the bolts or nuts provided. Then use a level to prepare for drilling the bottom hole. Step 4. Drill a hole in the bottom of the window through the tank. Step 5. Remove the bolt that was temporarily holding the window, being careful not to let it drop to the ground. Step 6. Carefully get inside the tank with the window and secure the top and bottom holes in the window through the tank with the bolts and nuts provided. Make sure that the holes line up with the original holes drilled and that the window remains level. Step seven, drill holes on either side of the pilot holes top and bottom in the window. Add bolts and nuts to ensure the window fits snug against the curve of the tank. The smaller the fish tank, the tighter the curve. Step eight, Continue around the top and bottom using the same pattern of alternating each side from the middle out to the edges and installing the bolts and nuts to hold the window tight. Step 9. Once all the top and bottom bolts are secured, the sides can be drilled. No particular order is needed here, just drill from top to bottom. Flat-sided square or rectangular tanks don't have an issue with the curve, can be drilled all at once, just like the sides. Marking and cutting the window. Step 10. With the bolt in place to guide your line, use the Sharpie to mark a straight edge around the curve on the outside. You want to stay about an inch or so inside the bolts. Step 11. To prepare for cutting the tank, remove all the nuts and bolts. They can be a bit tricky on the curve, so push the window against the tank to get them to come out easily or use a mallet from the outside. Be very careful not to crack the window at this step. Now remove the window from the tank. Step 12, now the fun begins. Use a hole saw or spade bit on your drill to make round corners for the window. A saw cut in a straight line may overshoot the corner and it's nice to have a really clean rounded edge on all sides. Pop any plastic that gets stuck in the hole saw as necessary. Step 13, use your jigsaw with a new sharp blade to saw along the lines from corner to corner. The plastic may wobble more as each side is cut, so have someone help hold the tank to keep it steady. Change blades or let your blade cool if it's melting instead of cutting. Step 14. Use a file and sandpaper to remove any rough edges or uneven spots. Setting your window. Step 15. Wipe the outside and inside of the window opening with denatured alcohol and remove any remaining Sharpie marks as well as prepare the plastic surface for the neoprene gasket. Step 16. Place the window on a protective towel or cardboard. Peel the protective film off the outside facing side of the window. Use your fingers to avoid scratching the acrylic. Also be careful not to cut your hand on the sharp edge. Step 17. Locate the four pieces of neoprene, two short pieces and two long pieces. Peel the backing off each neoprene piece. Align the back edge and corners, then carefully apply to each straight edge, avoiding ridges or bubbles. Make sure that the neoprene is adhered fully to the window and that the corners are aligned well and won't allow any leaks. Use one of the bolts to punch holes in the neoprene. Do this for each hole. If you cut your tank outside like we did, move your tank to its final location on a smooth level floor or platform. This is to prevent any movement that could crack the window after installation. Get inside the tank to help finish the install. Step 18. Remove the protective film from the other side of the window. Line up the top and bottom with the neoprene gasket against the tank. Install the top bolt and washer 
and then hand tighten the washer and nut on the outside to hold it in place. Continue installing each bolt with a washer from inside and the washer and nut on the outside of the tank. Work from the center of the window top and bottom outward to each corner. Once all of the bolts are installed, tighten them gently. We recommend doing this with hand tools to prevent cracking the window. Install the bolts on both sides using the same process. Step 20. Clean the inside of the window and fill the tank with water. If you find any leaks, stop and tighten the bolts a little more. Enjoy watching your fish friends frolic for years to come, and thank you for purchasing a window kit from the Aquaponics Source.